two, Matthew? A two, that's French? No, it's Latin. I actually got the... Shit. I mean, don't don't worry about it. This is a uh, his age of gladiators. Wait, the, the gladiators were Roman, weren't they? Yes. So is Latin. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, no. <laughs> It's it's been a rough night. I uh I I was trying to think of Gladiator quotes as in the movie. Realized I hadn't watched Gladiator in about ten years and uh, couldn't think of anything, so I went with a bit of uh, Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. I don't know. Isn't uh, Are you not entertained from Gladiator? Sure, it's that or wrestling. So probably. Well, I know Seamus the wrestler stole it from a movie, and I'm pretty sure it's Gladiator. Yeah, what if I just put my thumb down? Yeah. So anyway, this is Age of Gladiators. This is a management sim. Uh, is that a goat tell. person? Uh, it's a person with a goat hat. Slightly oh, different. That's less cool. Uh, <laughs> this game. This this game isn't going for the furry market. No, maybe it should do. I don't know. This is. Is that Mace Windu? <laughs> yes, every black person is Mace Windu. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> that's like somehow the most racist thing that's ever been on this website. I don't know how, but it is. Uh, yeah, um, I play a lot of management sims, as you well know. This is not a particularly good one, in my opinion. Well, you were sharing your purse with that guy. Is that sexual? No, it was betting. Because you, right? You're you're in charge of a gladiator ring. Uh, you've got to recruit your own gladiators, get your own trainers, uh, manage these people in such a way that you can make money off them. Basically, you know, it's exploitation to the nth degree. Are you basically a medieval or a? A Roman Dana White setting up your UFC fights. Yeah, only unlike Dana White, I'm not making any money ever. Is a problem. Oh. They say you're like building up your people and you'll have them fight. Who's your Ronda Rousey? Uh, I, Who's your Conor McGregor? It's definitely Libo. It's Libo. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so there's also these sex story missions we're having a look at now. Like The problem with this game is... this. These games never tell you what to do, right? That's like the thing about like TW and the comic book one and like any management sim like this is they never tell you what the fuck's happening and they just expect you to learn these really complex and mathematical based systems. The thing with this hit game is though, it's like you just die random. There's like an element of randomness, obviously. And it's just so brutally fucked, even with like the economy turned all the way up to where it's, oh, it's just shit. It's like in a 10 minute game, all my fighters have been killed and I'm like four loans deep trying to stay stay afloat. Lipo just died. There you go. See what just I mean? Just like Ronda Rousey. Yeah. It's, uh, it just... But I think I think a lot of simulation games take inspiration from like Minecraft, where that game had no tutorial. You had to look up like video guides online just to know how to make a workbench. And I think a lot of games kind of following that aspect of like, oh, the community will teach people how to play our game. Yeah, but now if you go buy Minecraft, I'm thinking about my time with the Xbox version, it totally told you everything you needed to know. Or it was on intuitive. Consoles, yeah, on, on the PC, there is none. Yeah, on this, it's just like, it's, it's fucking lazy. It's like, at least put in a fucking text guide, if nothing else, to tell me what this stat does. Tell me how to, tell me how morale matters, right? Because morale gets low all of the time and your people will just walk out on you, which is like, so shit when you've spent, you know, you're literally depending on this person to win the next match so you don't need to take out another loan, and they just walk out on you because you don't know how the morale system works. I now Stop know- Stop having them fight every other day. They need time to rest. But it's like fucking three fights a month. Like, w most of the time it's not even, you know, your one dude isn't even getting a fight that month. I mean, maybe that's why he's upset. I don't know. Like, I've got the best doctors, the best trainers. I've got everything. Uh, it turns out there was like, you can build up your sta it's your stable. You can like build up the actual physical building, uh, you know, give them better food, give them more roofs, you know, increase capacity and stuff. So there's there's rope and guard meters. So if you turn your rope and guard up, people will hate you because you're basically chaining them to your base, kind of. But they still will fucking escape anyway. So it doesn't matter if you're nice about it or not. You will either way, you will lose money, lose your fighters, and they'll all hate you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to play this game then. I'd be too nice. I'd be like, yeah, guys, you can, you can leave. It's fine. I did do that. Sure and still fucking back, left. Like, it's the worst. The worst. I've actually played about three hours, and that's what upsets me, is that it doesn't matter what I try to do, who I bet on. Like, you want to be smart, right? And you want to bet on the opposition if you think they're going to win, obviously, because you don't want to lose your money and your fighter. You only want to lose one. 
but then I feel kind of shitty because I'm not I'm betting against my own man which is you know not what I feel like a fucking gladiator leader should probably do they're, they're totally killing your people, right? Yeah, they're fucking like, getting... They're not just injuring them? Some of them get injured, some of them get killed. There's stats to control that, but everything's so glacial, it's like, maybe in ten years, if my fighter fucking survives, which he won't, you know, I might, you know, get my survival chance up to, like, 50% or something. You'll come back with, like, a missing leg and no ears. Yeah. You're like, I can fight. The problem with no tutorial is, like, it doesn't tell you anything, is the, is the issue. It's not like, you know, this fucking PDF document you get with the game is bad, it's like it doesn't exist. Or maybe it does in the program files, I just haven't been there. I need to open the readme. I was gonna say, at least you get, like, a PDF. You don't want to open, like, readme.txt. I don't think there is a PDF, though. That's what I mean. Like, there could be, but if there is, it's not in-game. Uh, and it's, it's annoying because, like, the actual thing you're doing is super simple. It's just you need to know the intricacies to, to not fuck up in it constantly. Is there no, like, uh, guide on their website or anything? Uh, possibly, but I'm not actually asked about playing this game anymore to go look at that. And I don't okay, feel like enough. I should have to go onto another person's website to uh, learn how a game works. I had to go to the Steam community page, actually, to work out how morale worked. Well, yeah, people will write guides for you. I know, but I want the fucking game I've just bought to tell me what to do. You're in medieval Rome. There's no time for guides. you got to fight or... You know, be killed. Yeah, it's... Also, the UI is really... It's, it's as rough as every other sim of this nature, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say the UI isn't exactly intuitive. No, and it's stuff like... There's a name field to name your dude. I think mine's called Strabo, or whatever the fucking default thing is. And it's like, you have to hit enter to stop selecting that before you can hit anything else, and that's obviously not serviced in the UI. It's dumb things. Who is that? that? Did you just buy him? This is what I like about this game is you can get some pretty hot dudes in the art. I mean, there's specifically like two figures that are actually mostly naked. Uh, so yeah. I think his name's Alhala, is it? I, I don't need to know yeah. his name. He's. I've had him a couple of times with the same art, so I don't know if... It, I'm sure it's... I bet you've had him. <laughs> I'm sure it's random, but... Uh, He's yeah. fighting himself, he's fighting his inner demons. That's, that's the other problem. Like, there's, there's only like five figures. This is the combat system. You can either let it play out at two times speed, just slow it down to half time speed, or, you know, normal speed or whatever. Or just hit skip and then there's all the fucking tech. It doesn't matter because as far as I can tell, like, it doesn't change anything if you watch it. Just, you know, burns ten minutes of your time. I don't like this game. Toodles.